Shabbat Shalom. Give all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings be to the elect. And I ran across this article, and it says uh, FBI ranks black identity extremists bigger threat than Al Qaeda, white supremacists. And it says leaked documents. All right, hey, they're trying to demonize who, man? All right, the men of the Lord. All right, the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites. They they they're trying to label label us as uh, black identity extremists, man. All right, hey, first of all, we're not black, man. We're uh, brown skinned people. All right, because that word black means void of light, and we are the light. All right, so the real black people are you so called white people, man. All right, you, you're, you're really red, man. You're not white, all right? Red, man, all right? And um, and they're the biggest threat, man, all right? This land was, was built off what, man? Uh, robbery, uh, death, and bloodshed, man, all right? But they want to call us the terrorists, man, all right? They're really calling uh, the words of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Uh, that's their biggest threat, man. To be uh, to be uh, to keep it uh, 144. All right, the Bible, the Holy Bible, is the biggest threat uh, to Babylon, man. The truth of the Scriptures, man. All right, because you got these Edomites. They they use the same Bible that we teach out of, man. All right, but they wasn't given the Holy Spirit to understand it, man. All right, that's why they can't. That's why they can't understand it, and they think we're, that we're speaking our own vain words and use our own interpretation, man. There's only one interpretation. Hey, you Christians, uh, you don't got it, man. Because if you did have it, hey, we would be, we would be out of here by now, man. All right. There's over the Christian gospel has been preached to all nations, man. All right, so you know they don't got it. All right, I'm gonna read a little bit of this. It says, it says leaked FBI documents indicate black identity extremists and animal rights activists are among the agency's top counterterrorism priorities under President Donald Trump. All right, it says the FBI's priority list documents obtained by the Young Turks Thursday lay out the Bureau's 2018 official year focal points in counterterrorism, cybercrime, and counterintelligence. All right, it says the 2018-19 threat guidance documents describes black identity extremists as those who force or those who use force or violence in violation of criminal law in response to per perceived racism and injustice in American society. The files claim some black identity of crisis, I mean black identity extremists act, acted in hopes of establishing a separate black homeland or autonomous black social institutions, communities, or governized organizations within the U.S. All right. Hey, they, they think, man, that's these other false groups, man, out here teaching that, uh, hey, let's, keep, let's, let's uh, build up our own communities. Let's build up our own institutions, our own businesses. Meanwhile, America's going to be destroyed, man. All right. See, they, ain't, they, they don't got... They don't got the, the Holy Spirit, the whole Holy Spirit, man. They don't got the full truth, all right? Because, hey, this is not our rest, man. We're not trying to uh, make make our own land, have our own government in this society, man. We, we're waiting for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to destroy this place, man. All right, so we can uh, have our own kingdom because this kingdom is, is through, man. This kingdom is polluted. There's nothing... Uh, Good uprising back up in this community. I mean, in this in, in this system, man, in Babylon. All right, so we're not trying to build up shit, man. All right, we're just trying to teach this word, 
get our daily bread, take care of our families, and get the fuck out of here, man. All right? Because it's not our rest. All right? You got these so-called white people. They they running this society, man. All right? And how about Shimei al He's not going to uh, allow us to set up shop and live uh, luxury in this society, man. So you can give it up, man. All right? You know, but you can... You can continue to read this if you if you would like. You know, for the sake of time, I'm gonna just hop into some scriptures. All right. And the first I'm gonna get is yeah, I might as well just start start here in Matthew chapter twenty chapter ten verse twenty one. It says. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. All right, hey, we're going to be hated for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you know we're not being. We're not trying to be hated for the name of Serapis uh, Christo, man. Caesar Bourget, all right? You know, because, hey, that, that's a false idol, man. All right, we're, we're being hated for the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua because that brings off a different vibration on, in Babylon, man. All right, that, bring, that brings off the vibration that, that, um, that we are terrorists, man. All right, we are a threat to the society. All right, I even had FBI come to my door a few months ago asking, was I a terrorist? Do I have bombs? All because I'm preaching the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai saying that America is going to be destroyed by 200 million thermal nuclear missiles, man. And I'm not going to do it. I don't have to do shit, man. All I got to do is just uh, stay in the faith. That's really all I got to do. Stay in the faith and wait upon the Lord, man. Because he's going to bring vengeance upon America, man. All right? Not us. All right? We're going to get those spiritual powers once America is destroyed by those nuclear missiles. You know, we're going to get it in the time of Jacob's trouble. Excuse me. And also, we're going to be using those spiritual powers to gather up the rest of these people that, uh, that survived that nuclear missiles, man. All right? All right? But... And until that time, man, until we get those spiritual powers, we're not really going to be doing nothing besides just teaching, teaching the scriptures, all right, standing on that street corner, all right, proclaiming the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, and cutting you two thirds, and you heathens, and sealing the elect, man, because that's what it's all about, all right. All right, let me get uh, the book of Amos, I think it's 8 and 11. Yep. All right. This it says Amos chapter eight verse eleven says, "Behold, the days come," saith the Lord Yahweh, "that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Hashem All right. All right. Hey, so it's going to be a time. Where you won't see us teaching on the corners anymore, man. All right, you won't see us in those in our garments. Uh, you you won't see us uh, spreading the gospel, man. Spreading this good news because hey, it's gonna be a famine, man, of the word. And you know what that means? That means that the elect are sealed, man. Destruction is pretty much here, man. All right, once that famine of the word kicks in, hey, you can forget about it, man. All right? You know, once we off them streets, man, it's over with, man. And that's soon to come, man. All right? Because they are cracking down on the Israelites. Because this truth... Is a threat, man. All right, truth hurts, so they gotta take it down. You know, that's why they uh, 
Oh, you can only have a thousand. You can have. You gotta have a thousand followers on or subscribers on on um, YouTube to do videos live. They took out Google Hangouts, man. All right, they know this is this is what we do, man. Bro, so they trying to take. They trying to uh, shoot it down, man. They trying to stop the word, but you can't stop the words of your how about me out shot. All right, hey, because if it was of the Lord, if it's of the Lord. It will, it will, all, it will come to pass, man. All right. Let me see if I can get that in Acts. Uh, it said, if, I think it's in Acts. chapter 5 verse 38 uh, and I may close out with this Lord willing alright this is the book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 38 it says and now I say unto you refrain from these men and let them alone for if this counsel or this work be of men it will come to naught. But if it be of Yahweh Shemi Al Shah, ye cannot overthrow it. Lest happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh Shemi Al Shah, man. Alright, and that's what's gonna happen, man. These Edomites, these red people, these so called white people, and they're really red. Alright, you can see it all over the face, they're red. Alright. They're going to try to fight against Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. They're going to strive with their maker. You already know what it says. <laughs> you already know what the scriptures say. Woe unto them that strive with their maker, man. Let me see if I can get that. Yep. Alright, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 9. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker let the pos let the posterior let the posterior strive with the posterior of the earth shall clay say to him that fashioned it what makest thou or thy work he have no hands alright you know hey woe unto them man hey he was just Hey, you don't try with, with your maker, man. All right, you can't do nothing with it, man. All right, like the like the potter with the clay, man. The clay can't do shit. All right, but just accept how he was made, man. All right, and the same thing with you so-called white people, man. All right, you got to accept the fact that you are that cursed nation of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, who y'all call God and Christ. All right, you are the cursed nation of so-called God and so-called Christ, man. All right, so accept it. All right. All right. Hey, so the Lord, He's gonna, He's gonna bring that famine of the word. Thus saith the Lord. All right, and He's gonna, uh, these Edomites are gonna crack down on on Jake, man, on you niggas, man, on you niggards. All right, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay. All right. Hey. And we gotta maintain. We gotta stay faithful, man. All right, because it's even going to be for the for the men of the Lord, man. We're gonna have to go through that temptation as well. All right. And I'm gonna close out with this. This book of Revelations, chapter nine, verse ten. It says, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days." 
be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. All right, hey, we are to man, remain faithful, man. All right, hey, the Lord is gonna be our GPS in the time of Jacob's trouble when all hell breaks loose in America, man. And we are to remain faithful for however long the Lord has us inside those prison houses, man. You know, hey, have faith in the Lord, man. He can give you spiritual powers to dis to uh, to break out of that prison. You know, hey, so we uh, we gotta. You got to remember the strength of our Lord, man, because, hey, he doesn't leave anybody that, that trusted him confounded, man. All right, so I just wanted to touch on that. Uh, Lord willing, this video was edifying. And I'm going to close it out, give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Raka, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And to the next lesson, I say Shalom.